Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello My name is Surga Sri Agustin And in this video I would like to demonstrate How to teach uh, listening and speaking With direct method uh, But first I will explain What is direct method So direct method Also referred as the natural method Start with Francois Gouin And was picked by Berlitz and so far in the 19th century it become well known in the united states uh, as a result of Ber berlitz and silver's commercial language schools utilization of it the direct method uh, emphasize complete absorption in the classroom with no mention of the student's native language and the emphasis is on learning by listening and speaking rather than grammar we don't focus on the rules when we use the natural method instead uh, we allow for mistakes and strive for understanding oral communication with our target words and language a teacher primary purpose is for students to learn to communicate in the target language grammar was taught inductively focus gram vocabulary was taught uh, with association of concept and both speech and listening comprehension comprehension were taught perfect pronunciation and grammar were emphasized and new teaching points were provided orally in a direct method here are the procedures of the direct method the first one is classroom instructions was conducted uh, exclusively in the target language. All right, hello students. Uh, today we are going to we are going to talk about hobbies. I believe you guys are having at least one hobby. So what is hobby? Hobby is an activity that you enjoy doing in your spare time. Everyone in this world uh, must have a hobby, right? Like reading, writing, swimming, uh, and etc. And because there must be things that people love in this world and wants to continue to do it. The second one is only everyday vocabulary and sentences were taught. Here are uh, some hobbies uh, that uh, you must know like swimming swimming drawing reading singing listening to music cooking taking photos dancing shopping uh, playing guitar going to cinema like uh, theater and hanging out with friends and the last one is oral communication skills were developed in a small intense session through a carefully graded progression centered on question and answer interaction between teachers and students all right uh, i will ask uh, some of you with some questions over here Rizky. Hello, Rizky. Hello, Miss. Rizky, do you have uh, any hobby? Uh, of course, I have. What is your hobby? Um, my hobby is playing games. All right, that's amazing. Is your hobby yeah. the same as when you were a child? Yes, since I child, I like play games. Good, that's amazing. How much time do you spend on your hobby? Uh, in a day, I will spend only three hours. All right, so you manage your time, right? Good yeah. job. What benefits do you get from it? Uh, the benefit from it is I got money. Because okay. I sell the, the 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 gold from the games. Oh, that's amazing! Thank you very much, Rizky.
All right, uh, Winda. Hello, Winda. Hello, Miss. Can I ask you what is your hobby? Um, my hobby, I think, watching movie. Oh, that's amazing. Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? I don't know. I think it's different. I think, yeah, it's different. How much time do you spend on your hobby? Uh, so many hours, maybe. I, I didn't count. Oh, yeah, so it based on uh, what, like, what kind of movie you find, right? Yeah. So, what do you get from it? I get uh, entertaining from it. Yes, we need entertainment. <laughs> Good yeah. job. Thank you very much, Linda. You're welcome. All right, now to next activity. I will uh, show you uh, the record. And I want you to listen to the records and answer some of these questions, all right? What is your hobby? I like playing sports, especially swimming. Is your hobby common in your country? Yes. Kids, adults, and senior citizens all like swimming in my country. Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? Yes, I was fond of swimming when I was a little girl. When did you start practicing that hobby? I started swimming when I was five years old. Is there anybody in your family who you share your hobby with? My dad, he taught me how to swim. How much time do you spend on your hobby? I usually go to the swimming pool twice a week. What benefits do you get from it? Swimming is a really good workout. It helps me keep fit and chill out after a long day working. Have you All right. Now, let's go back to the question. I will ask Ratna. Hello, Ratna. Ratna, are you there? Okay, I think Ratna uh, has a difficult bit. Uh, yes. So, Muti, hello, Muti. Hello, Miss. Uh, I want to ask you, what hobby does the speaker have? Um, the speaker likes playing sports, especially swimming. Oh, so maybe that's all. All right, thank you. That's amazing. And then Dini, hello Dini. Mommy. I want to ask you, who tells the speaker how to do his hobby or her hobby? Can you repeat the question, miss? Who tells the speaker how to do her hobby? The one who teach, um, the one who teach the speakers to do her hobby is her dad. He taught her how to speak. Good job, thank you very much, Dini. And then Winda, I want to ask you something. Alright, Miss. How much time do you have to speak for Um, he usually go to the swimming pool twice a week. Good job. Thank you, Winda. Okay. And the last question is for Ms. Ms. G. Ms. G, I want to ask you, what benefits do the speaker get from her hobby? Uh, um, swimming is a really good workout. It helps her keep fit and chill out after a long day working. Good job. Thank you very much, Ms. G. All right, maybe that's all from me. Thank you very much for your nice attention and your hard work. See you on your on the next class. Bye. Bye, Miss. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Miss. Thank you. You're very welcome. 
Alright, maybe that's all from me. Thank you so much for your nice attention. I hope this video can help you in any way. Uh, thanks for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.